Hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me for another episode. Just a little update. Um, the holidays were really busy, you know, with family and everything. So, of course, that's one reason why I didn't get some videos out other than my uh, models in review over 2019. But uh, the holidays are good. I hope you all had a great holiday also. In fact, I know for me it is more about family, but I did get some kind of cool gifts from some of my family which I like. I got this shirt here from my younger son which I really like a lot. From my other son and stepdaughter I got this really nice Star Wars case which is made out of wood and inside it has four Star Wars whiskey glasses, rocks glasses. So this is a really nice set and I'm really happy with this actually. And then from my wife she got me the Sphero R2-D2 droid. And this is a lot of fun to play with. So anyway, those are just some of the highlights of stuff I got for Christmas. Um, hope you all have a great new year. Happy New Year. And I've been waiting for these guys to show up in the mail for the last couple of months and these are some servos um, I'm going to attempt one more time to try and make my wings open and close on the B-Wing and aside from that I also received in the mail a model kit which I will be doing as a commission build uh, this build I will be doing a video series on and this is actually going to take priority right now over my B-Wing I will still try to get some stuff out, but this uh, commission build is going to take some priority. And uh, I'd like to uh, show you what I'm going to be working on and do a little review. So this is it. The Jupiter 2 from the original Lost in Space series produced by Mobius Models. So I'll open it up here and take a look at what we've got inside. This is a 135th scale so it uh, it's a nice big size kit as you can see here it's I think it said 18 inches in diameter and we got the top of the saucer here we've got a bag here that has a bunch of clear parts looks like it's the sleeping chambers and you know the freezing tubes for the uh, Robinson family here we have the uh, elevator portion and the seats for the front center console. Uh, looks like we got some clear parts here for the fusion core on the bottom of the ship, right around here. And I'll have lights that go around that. Here we've just got some doors and some quarter walls here and things like that. You can see this looks like a corridor. And we've got the bottom of the saucer here. Here it looks like we've got the landing gear and all the kit landing gear.
This looks like it might be um, parts of the astrogator and some consoles and things like that that go around the interior of the ship. The wall beams that go on the center of the ship. Some computer consoles here. The floor and two different fusion cores. So we have an extended and retracted fusion core here. And then the base of the whole center portion of the uh, Jupiter 2. And the two cores, the retracted and the extended. The windows for the center console, a couple more wall beams here. And then of course we have some decals. And uh, just a little sheet on the Jupiter 2 and then we have the instruction manual which has some paint schemes and obviously the instructions on how to assemble the kit. And again, I'm going to fully light this kit like you see here on the back. Uh, there are a lot of lighting details to do here. Uh, there's the kit. You can see lighting through the fusion core and through the uh, front window there. Inside the Jupiter 2. And it's a full interior. So it's going to be a lot of fun to do. This is a little bit of a different kit for me. Definitely looking forward to this build, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The client also sent along with the kit the painting masks, which will come in handy for painting some of the doors and other things on the interior of the ship. Make it a little easier to paint so I don't have to try to mask stuff off myself with uh, Tamiya masking tape. So this will make it a little bit easier for me. And we've also got here the uh, fusion core lighting array, which he purchased, which I will use so that it has sequence lights that spin around the fusion core, just like in the TV show. And I'll incorporate that into my electronics and wire this up with my extra LEDs that I'll be adding throughout the interior of the ship. Uh, the little computer console thing here with photo etch for the console and this acetate here to light up through the back. We've got some more photo etch parts here for around the interior. Another set of photo etch for little consoles around the interior of the ship, such as the center console and the computer. Here we have some third party decals, some of which I will use for the really small fine detail stuff. Uh, like the doors and stuff I probably will not use, I'll paint, but some of these other ones I uh, may use the decals like those small ones here for the uh, really fine detailed you know components and computers and stuff around the interior of the ship. And then we also have a set of hero landing gear with some photo etch and some actual brass tubing and things like that. So I'll take a look at this and see uh, if I'll be using that or if I'll be using the stock kit landing gear. But uh, that's the kit and all the uh, third party accessories to go along with it. And again, I'm really looking forward to building this kit. It's a little bit different than what I've been doing with all the Star Wars stuff, but very similar yet the same. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to uh, doing my build series on this kit. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.